that whether the bank or the credit card company, uh, whenever they give uh, like 2% cash back on credit cards or in saving accounts and so on. Uh, first of all, I would like to confirm, it is not permissible to deposit your money in a saving account in a conventional bank or deal with a conventional bank on the basis of riba uh, unless if there is no other alternative and with conditions that the interest which is generated uh, on your money in the saving account for instance you're not allowed to benefit out of it because that is called riba and as we have studied before repeatedly there are many ayat in the Quran and a hadith in which riba is considered the worst sin and the most destructive of course after shirk uh, may Allah protect all of us because of that brothers and sisters if the person does not have any alternative as far as Islamic firm Islamic banking system or a place to save or deposit or invest his money in halal he will be allowed due to the necessity to keep his or her money in the conventional bank the money which is generated as a result of that is called interest or faida should be collected not left to the bank and it should be given away and in this case the person got rid of the sin of earning riba he's not allowed to utilize this interest for any personal use not even to settle or pay off his taxes or for innocence if he got uh, a traffic violation so he pays off uh, the ticket or the violation from the interest money which is generated on his uh, saving in a conventional bank this is just for further clarification now why is it haram when I deposit my money somewhere in a saving account for instance or uh, in a credit card company that on my spending if they give me a gift 2% more or less the question was about 2% why is it haram number one because it is not permissible for the creditor to collect any benefit not even a gift from the debtor because based on that people can just pay the interest and give it different names like the creditor will give a loan to the debtor who is in need and he expects from him to buy to buy him this and that or to pay him that much and he would just call it a gift now with the fact that this is not just a gift it's also a percentage two percent that makes it officially haram any benefit that will be collected as a result of giving your money to somebody is considered interest now are you a creditor yes of course when I give my money to the bank don't you think you're saving your money and it's sitting somewhere not being used no you're a creditor that's why many banks uh, competing with each other they actually give you a bonus cash back a free checking account a free saving account there is no monthly fee whatever why because they want your money the main uh, job of the banks is to borrow and lend with interest. Accordingly, any amount of cash back or gifts which will be collected by the creditor, which is you who saved or invested your money in this conventional bank, is absolutely haram. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best. Huda TV's social media sites are the best way to contact us from anywhere around the world. Stay connected with Huda TV's latest news and programs through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Skype, and Instagram. It's fast and easy. Stay up to date with your favorite shows and scholars today. Huda TV, a light in every home.